صباح الخير واهلا بكم في حلقه جديده من حلقات اي اس ال اور انجلش از ا سكند لانجويج اي هوب يور اول جود اند فاين اند توداي وي ستارت ا فيري انتريستينج توبيك اتس سمثينج ريليتد تو يور اون ريزومي اور يور اون سي في وين يو ار ابلاينج فور ا جوب ذا فيرست ريكوايرمنت از تو سبمت يور اون ريزومي اور يور اون سي في ريزومي از ذا امريكان فيرجن فور ذا وورد سي في سي في از مور بريزيش Uh, it's used more commonly in British English, but resume is more American. It's more more commonly used in American English. For the word resume, resume is a French word originally, means معناها ملخص أو يعني ملخص الحياة كله. And CV is uh, an abbreviation form or abbreviated form for the word curriculum. Curriculum. VT. كلمة curriculum بتيجي معنا منهج أو مثلاً English curriculum. Uh, our uh, science curriculum will plural this is a Latin word كلمة لاتينية والدايما في الكلمة اللاتينية كلمة لأخيرها U M في ال singular المفرد بتبقى أخيرها A في الكلمة الجمع في plural فيبقى جمع كلمة curriculum curricula curricula يعني مناهج curricula okay زي كلمة datum يعني بيان أو معلومة الجمع بتاعها data بيانات all of us know the word data or data okay so curriculum very كلمة very is an originally a Latin word معناها ذاتية حاجة جاية من لافي الحياة بالفرنش كل يعني معناها حياتك أو أو سيرتك فكاريكولم في تي سيرة ذاتية اللي هي اختصرناها خدنا السي والفي من كاريكولم وفي تي بقت سي في سو أز أي تولد يو إن أمريكا إن يو إس إي ذي يوزينج ذا وورد ريزومي إن ستيد أوف ذا وورد سي في هاو تو بيلد يور أون ريزومي وين يو آر أبلاينج فور أ جوب أور وين يو آر هافينج أن إنترفيو فور أ جوب Uh, it's very important to build your own resume or to have someone else build it for you. So now we will try to learn how to build our own resume and what are the, the most important uh, pieces of, of information to be included in your own resume. Uh, we have the first, um, the first page of the material. The material is always uploaded on our Viper groups and Facebook page the day before our class or two days before our class. So now you have the material on the Viber groups and the Facebook page. The first page is curriculum vitae. Number one, the, the, the very top of your resume or curriculum vitae is to put your own, and we have two sections. We have one plank section and we have one section with all the details. In the plank section, okay, you have to put your own address and your own phone number in, on the very right corner or on the very right hand pay, uh, part of the page you have to put your name last name comma first name okay so this is on the plank part on the right on the right hand part you have to put the most important information uh, your contact information so number one you have to put your name inverter you have to put your last First name, example, imaginary. If you are making name, uh, a last name is, and then the first name is William. So Hank, your own name, comma first. Okay, uh, then you have to put your phone number, for example. Uh, the area code for example 714-949-654 whatever and then your phone number okay um, you have to put if it's cell or phone and if it's a phone you have to identify if it's work phone or home phone sometimes you can distinguish between two types for example daytime phone the phone through which they can reach you daytime phone and night phone during the night of course they will not reach you during the night so you have to write only daytime phone so you can add your cell number telephone in mahmoud cell bimana telephone in mahmoud then your phone and you can identify different types of phone for example work phone the phone at your work, home phone, the phone at your home, the daytime phone, the phone through which they can reach you at any time during the day, whatever. Okay, then you have to put your own email, email address, for example, uh, Hanks2000, for example, 
at yahoo or at gmail.com okay then you have to put your address your address starting with as 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 written the house number the building number for example if you live in number 100 okay and then the street number or the street name for example lincoln avenue okay then comma the city for example orange uh, new york uh, Miami in Florida whatever and then the state and then the zip code so to put the address you have to put the house number comma the street name or street number times I live on 17th street or street 17 whatever and then the city the Medina and then the state followed by the zip code zip code that's your address so on the right hand part of the page you have to put your own personal contact information your name reversed last name comma first name your phone number and you have to identify whether it's cell number or phone number and if it's a phone is it work phone or uh, home phone or is it daytime phone then you have to provide your email address in a correct form then your address your mailing or physical address there is a difference between your email address electronic mail address and your mailing address or physical address the address you live you exist where you live or exist the house number comma the street number or street name comma the city comma the state followed by the zip code between two maybe between two bracks or not okay this is the right part of the page what about the left hand side of the page now you have to put your experience and professional information so on the right hand side of the page you will put your personal contact information your name your phone number whatever cell number phone number or phone number home phone number daytime number your email address and then your physical or your mailing address the address where you physically exist or you physically live okay house number street name city state and zip code this is on the very right hand side of the page what about the left hand side the left hand side is concerned with your professional experience your pre prior jobs or your experience or knowledge the courses you've studied the languages you know or you master whatever anything related to your work your job your experience your professional experience your prior jobs will be put on this side okay so let's go through the the items the items that are written go through that okay now we have curriculum vitae or cv personal information sometimes you have or you can add your personal information again page separately and you can put them again or you can put them one time together so again you have you can divide your curriculum vitae or cv or resume into two parts on this part you will put your contact or your personal information contact personal information as i told you it's your name inverted last name and then first name your phone number identifying cell number work phone number home phone number daytime phone number then your email address then your physical address and on the left hand side you will put your experience your experience information okay your occupational information related to occupation or was it but in some other cases it doesn't have the resume doesn't have a, a fixed form it can have different forms different types so you can put the personal information again here or you can use it just once here and then put your experience and your professional experience here so do not repeat you have first name or surname surname means last name your address phone number email nationality and nationality is not required religion and nationality are excluded items from your resume maybe in some places they require for your authenticity or something like that when you are filling in an application you will provide this piece of information but when making your resume don't put your nationality don't put your religion they are excluded items they don't ask about that except in some 
particular application. So you can omit nationality. Your date of birth. So you can put your name here again. For example, uh, here we can use it in the correct order. First name, last name. If you start with the last name, you will put a comma. Hanks, comma, William. But if you put it correctly, it's William Hanks without commas. So le, le, let, us, le, let us write here, William Hanks. Okay. And then there of birth, dop, dop mean, means there of birth. When we went through the N400 for the natural, we knew the dop, the there of birth. Put your there of birth, starting with the month, then day, then year. Your gender, I think in, in resume, gender is excluded. You know, in the American society, they don't ask about your nationality. They don't ask about your religion. They don't ask about your gender, except for some particular forms. But you can put your gender, it's okay. Gender, male or female, okay. Then let's go through our experience, our work experience. We can say, like to be uh, a school uh, inspector or advisor uh, would you like to be a teacher um, uh, a firefighter what type of what type of employment do you desire would you like to do so this is desired employment and occupational field. Occupational means something related to occupation. What's your occupational field? Are you a physician? Are you a nurse? Are you an engineer? What type of engineering? Are you a civil engineer? Mohans Madani, electricity, uh, mechanics, whatever. Which type? Okay, so here you have to put your desired employment. Or for example, you want to be a nurse. So nursing. Nurse or nursing, tamrid, okay? Or for example, uh, day care, child care. They, let, let us say child care. You wanna work in the field of child care, right, al atfal, in nurseries or day care uh, institutions or whatever. So in this part, you will provide your desired employment, desired position, the job you are applying for, the nature of a job, because sometimes an institution announces that there are some vacancies different types of vacancies for example a hospital is announcing different vacancies a vacancy for a physician and even the physician can have different specializations a vacancy for the urologist urologist اللي هو طبيب المسارك البوليه urologist different for a gynecologist امراض نساء obstetrics اللي هي امراض التوليد طب التوليد اوكي Uh, pediatrics, طب الأطفال, dermatologist, or dermatology, طب الأمراض الجلدية, radiology, اللي هو الأشعة والكلام ده. إذن, which field, which occupational field, okay? For, okay, that's this, this part, okay? Then, your work experience, your work experience. We can go through this one. You have to put the date, التواريخ, dates, starting from the most recent occupation. For example, if you have occupied three jobs if you have previously occupied three jobs you have to put the dates of the three jobs starting with the most recent one for example from from what to what for example from june 2010 to for example say january 2020 2020 This is the most recent job. I started my job in June 2010. I spent 10 years in my job. I quit it or I left it in January 2020. So this is the day, okay? And as I told you, you have to start with the recent one as we, do, we did so. This is the recent job, the most recent one, okay? Uh, what was the position and what was the uh, organization? For example, if you are applying for child care, so you can say that from June 2010, To January 2020, I was working, for example, for St. Andrew's Child Care. And you have to put the address, the physical address of this institution. You can say St. Andrew's Child Care, Orange, California. 
or for example St. Andrew's Child Care Miami Florida St. Andrew's Child Care uh, New York New York City New York State so you, 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 you don't have to put the full address the full physical address of the institution because they can google it they can find the, 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 the full uh, uh, address you just have to put the city and the, the state the city and the state in Medina will will okay for example St. Andrew's Child Care for example Irvine California for example Irvine California okay so from Jan June 2010 to January 2020 I worked for St. Andrew's Child Care uh, it's located in Irvine California okay then what was your occupation what was the occupation you held in this position for example I was a teacher assistant teacher assistant okay then the name and address of the employer uh, it's the same as I told you the type of business or sector you said child care uh, we have to, to provide your your main activities and responsibilities in this institution okay so from June 2010 to January 2020 I worked for San Andrews Child Care Irvine California I was a teacher assistant what were your responsibilities and activities for example I selected selecting selecting we, we don't have to put complete sentences complete sentences make the, the resume weak make it not that good it's good it's not necessary to use full sentences just provide points hot points but hot gumal kamla when the tamil resume mish mustahab da bikhaliha daifa resume so selecting uh, selecting curricula اختيار المناهج curricula with the main teacher مع المدرسة الأساسية for example main teacher okay okay let me complete here you know this part is for your personal contact information or contact personal information but i will complete my writing here this is my first responsibility or activity to select the curricula with the main teacher uh, evaluating evaluating students or kids evaluating kids their ability uh, to speak their ability to correctly and well their ability to respond whatever whatever so in this section, section is dedicated for your personal personal information first you have to put your name again but this way correctly first name last name without any commas your date of birth and your gender then to the desired employment the position you are applying for what are you applying what are you applying for this day Today, what are you applying for? Which type of, of job? Which type of position? Which which occupation? Child care. And then start to list experience starting with the most recent job, the most recent position. The day. January 22, the name of the employer or the institution, organization. St. Andrew's Child Care. Child Care is the type of business. It's a child care. Then the address. You don't put the full address just city and state for example Irvine California then uh, what type of position did you hold what was the position you held in this institution I was a teacher assistant what were your activities what were your 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 your, your mission your tasks in this place selecting curricula with the main teacher evaluating kids helping kids read and write whatever so you have to do this with all your prior jobs i think you have to list all your jobs since your graduation day until today our present day present if you are still working in this institution put this word for, for example you started working for san andrew san andrew's child care from june 2010 are you still working there so you will put the word present present manal haddilwat so if you are still working for the same institution and you are applying for another job for example you are searching for um, a higher salary or a closer location the, the job is so far whatever so you are applying for a job and you're still working for another institution you will write the day in this way when did you start 
than present. Present manal had the watch till our present day. Okay, so you have to put your professional experience, your work experience, starting with the most recent job. Okay, moving to the 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 oldest one. Uh, since your graduation present so you will see this repeated then you will move to another section of resume in this section so this section for your personal uh, you can put it in one section by the way as I told you it's, it doesn't have a fixed form you can have your contact or personal information at the very top your name your your daytime phone number your email address your physical address then your date of birth your gender and then you can separate with the line and start your professional experience and then go 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 ahead and complete in one section you don't have to divide your page okay this is just a way okay then move from your professional experience to your education and training your education and training education and training okay and training. what are the certificates or qualifications did you get to apply which 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 would apply to uh, which would help you apply for this job what were the certificates shahadat and qualifications in muhilat um, did you which you got which you already you have already got and which would help you apply for this job again what were your certificates and your um, uh, qualifications which would help you apply for this job for example start with the most recent education uh, field for example if you are if you've got a phd start with it because it's most recent you have a phd degree for example in for example autism or something related to child care okay what was the institution which gave you or which granted you this degree for example if you had this degree in uh, Boston University or whatever in Harvard University right Harvard University okay start with the day i'm sorry i forgot the day is the the first point to start when did you get this one so in this section you have to put your education your training courses start with the most recent degrees moving towards the the, the oldest one so for example if you are a holder of a phd degree and this is your most recent degree right the day for example when did you get this degree okay when did you get this degree for example in uh, let's say december 2019 in december 2019 i got my phd degree in autism what was the institution that granted you this this degree or that degree for example harvard university then if you got an ma M, M, A degree a magister ma degree ma degree for example in um, child psychology for example child psychology 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 okay the date don't forget the date for example it was in June 2012 in June 2012 I got my master degree in child psychology what was the institution that granted you this or that degree for example uh, Boston University whatever Boston University okay so in this section so again I'm repeating because I will erase the port first you have to put whatever you can divide the page or just one plug you have to put your personal contact information starting with your name reversed last name comma first name then your um, uh, phone number cell or work phone number or home phone number or daytime phone number your email your physical address, the address where you physically live or exist completely, uh, the number of the building or the house, the, the name of the street, the city, the state, and the zip code. Then you can put your date of birth, starting with the month, the day, and year, the gender, male or female, the required employment or the applying for, I am applying for child list all your experience your professional experience your work experience starting with the most recent one put the dates for example from june 2010 present then the name of the institution the name of employers and just the 
will adjust of the institution or the employer just the same and the same they can go add your phone number it's okay to correct if you can teacher assistant the activities or the, the missions or the tasks you, you had to do in this and so the oldest since your graduation day even if you've started working in your high school, put this, this is very good, this is very good. This adds to your work experience, your professional experience. This adds to your resume. Put all your work experience. Um, of course, the resume is not, is not uh, desired to be more than one page. If you can compact it in two pages, it's okay. If, you, if not, it's okay to have two pages. But put and dimension and list all your work and training and education experience. When you're done with all your work experience, professional experience, move to your education, the degrees you've got, be starting with the most recent to the oldest, PhD degree, MA degree, uh, for example, bachelor degree or directed uh, baccalaureate or license date, a tarikh, okay? Then the, the, the institution, the university or the school which granted you this one, okay? Then your high school diploma. Stop at your high school diploma. We don't need the middle school and the elementary school, of course. When you're done with your education, you have to move to your training courses. If you had any training courses in computer, in languages, in childcare, in anything in life, provide all your training courses in this section. After you're done with your professional experience and education experience, please put all your training experience, all your training courses, all the training courses which you, you've got starting uh, the very beginning of your career, the very beginning of your life. Even if these training courses are not related to your to the job you are applying for it adds weight it adds weight to your resume but give the resume for example for training let me use another color for training if you got for example a training course a training course again start with the most recent training courses to the oldest ones and the, the, the dates, for example, in from June uh, 2012 to uh, September 2012. Okay, a training course in child care. Or if you want to be more specific, which type of child care. For example, in May 2011, a training therapy course therapist psychology okay for example in December example just examples in December 2008 training course in master and Microsoft computer training course in English Spanish any courses would add weight to your resume now let's turn to the second page. Okay. Questions to prepare for. When you are getting ready for an interview for a job, you are applying for a job and you, you will have an interview and you're trying to get ready, to prepare yourself for this interview. What are the questions that are most likely asked in this type of interview? Uh, the first question, when your manager or your leader is interviewing you, you are applying for a job. Imagine you, imagine you are in a play. We are in a play for Masrahi. You are applying for a job, and now we sent you an email that we are waiting for you tomorrow to have an interview with you. What are the type of questions that would most likely be asked to you. Number one, tell me about yourself. This is the first question that you'll be you'll get asked by your manager or your interviewer. Tell me about yourself. 
the most often asked question in interviews the actor so albeit self interviews talk about things you have done and jobs you have held and relate to the position you are interviewing for when you're talking about yourself don't you can say my name is so and so uh, i was born in for example 1985 okay um don't speak about your religion don't speak about your nationality unless you are asked about that of course they will not ask you about your religion or nationality sometimes your ethnicity it's okay but when you are talking about yourself concentrate are you single or married do you have kids this is in just one minute or two minutes then move move as soon as possible as soon as possible to your professional experience okay of course you sub you've submitted your your resume you submit it your resume but you have to speak about that you have to speak about that uh speak about your professional experience the same as mentioned in your resume the same as mentioned in your resume yani نفس اللي انت قلته في الريزومي بتاعك you can speak about it in brief باختصار um, so number one my name is so and so I was born your date of birth uh, I am single or I am married I have two kids or three kids uh, you can speak about your kids age عمر عمر ولادك two years six years then move jump forward to your professional experience it, it, بسرعة اتنقل لي professional experience او لخبرتك المهنية as mentioned in the resume زي ما انت قلتها في resume you can speak in detail ممكن تتكلم بالتفصيل or in short whatever according to the time you are granted for this interview sometimes you tell you you will be interviewed for 15 minutes so don't don't use details ما مستخدمش تفاصيل كتير um, اشتغلت فين قبل كده اوكي اشتغلت انا اشتغلت في المكان الفلاني والفلاني والفلاني اشتغلت في المكان ده خمس سنين في المكان ده ثلاث سنين I'm trying to speak in Arabic um, to make it clearer عشان اوضحها شويه آه كانت مسؤولياتي في المكان ده ان انا مثلا انا كنت شغال في حضانه فكنت مسؤولياتي مثلا وانا شغال في الحضانه ان انا اراعي الولاد اقيم الولاد اشوف الولاد بيقروا ازاي بيكتبوا ازاي اساعدهم اعمل كويستشن استبيانات ف سبيك اباوت يور سيلف نمبر 2 واي ديد يو ليف يور لاست جوب If you are still working for a place, you will not be asked this question. You will be asked another question. When you are still working for a place, you will not be asked this question. The question will be asked, why did you leave your last job? You will be asked this question. But you will be asked another question. Why are you looking for another job? Why are you searching for another job? Why are you searching for another job? For example, you can say, I'm searching for a higher salary. I'm searching for a higher salary. I'm searching for Uh, a better position بدور على وظيفه افضل I'm searching for a closer location my my current job this location is too far from me I have to commute or to take my car for about 40 miles every day 40 miles and 40 miles in my return 80 miles per day which is too much for me and for my budget so I'm I'm searching for a closer location بدور على مكان اقرب whatever so Never complain of supervisors. لو انت سبت الشغل اللي قبل كده او بتحاول تدور على شغل تاني never complain of supervisors. ما تشتكيش خالص من الليدرز او السوبرفايزرز بتوعك لان هيبان ان انت شكاي. You are complaining all the time. بتشتكي دايما which is not favor. ده بدل وانت بتقدم. Don't, don't never complain of your co-workers. ما تشتكيش من زملائك في الشغل or the organization او من الشغل الهيئه اللي بتشتغل فيها. Because um, you have to appear as being Uh, good person, nice person, as much as possible. Okay, don't don't appear as being uh, a complaining person. Talk about things you've done and jobs you've held that relate to the position. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm uh, in number two. I'm so sorry about that. Keep smiling and talk about leaving for a positive reason, such as a great opportunity. Keep smiling. While you are being interviewed, خليك بتضحك دايما and talk about leaving for a positive reason such as a great opportunity. كلم دايما عن أسباب إيجابية خليك بتسيب الشغل أو بتدور على شغل تاني. For example, this is a, a, a great opportunity. الوظيفة دي كويسة. This offers a higher salary. بتعرض مرتب. This is closer to my house. فكلم عن حاجات positive مش negative. ما تكلمش عن complaints. Number three. What experience do you have in this field? طب إيه الخبرة اللي أنت عندك في المجال ده? Talk about specifics. 
ذات ار ريليفنت تو ذا بوزيشن اتكلم عن خبرتك الدقيقه او المتخصصه اللي ليها علاقه بالمجال اللي بتقدم له فور اكزامبل اف يو ار ابلاينج فور ا تشايلد كير جوب وات ار يور اكسبيرينس ان تشايلد كير دونت سبيك اباوت يور اكسبيرينس ان اذر جوبز اوف كورس يو ويل يور ليست اول يور جوبز in your resume but don't speak about that in the interview because it's too short maybe 15 or 20 minutes focus on the experience related to the job you are applying for ركز على الخبره اللي خاصه بالوظيفه اللي انت بتقدم لها اوكي okay? in case of little relevant experience get as close as you can لو انت ما عندكش experience كبيره في المجال ده خليك close يعني في الـ في الـ في, الـ في الجوبز اللي ممكن تكون قريبه منها as much as you can what do you know about this organization The organization you are applying for. تعرف إيه عن الشركة بتاعتنا. Do some before you are interviewed. Before you interview, do some Google research. If you are interviewed by some organization, you have to know something about this organization. Of course, you can go and make an interview without having the place, without having um, the place known to you, without having some knowledge. of the place مش معقول نروح نعمل انترفيو في مكان احنا مش عارفين عنه حاجه سو بليز دو سم ريسيرش ورك بيفور جوينج تو يور انترفيو فور اكزامبل يو ار انترفيود باي امازون وات دو يو نو اباوت امازون يو هاف تو جوجل تو سيرش دو سم ريسيرش اند نو ذا نيتشر اوف ذا ذا ورك دان باي امازون فور اكزامبل ذيس از فيري امبورتنت سو دو سم ريسيرش ابحث شويه اون ذا اورجنايزيشن بيفور ذا انترفيو What are the current issues and who are the major players? إيه إيه أحدث حاجات بيعملوها ومين هم ال leaders أو ال managers play مين هم ال managers ال major players أو ال managers اللي موجودين دلوقتي لحد ما. Why do you want to work for this organization? Why are you applying for this organization for our organization? I اشتغل معنا لي. Okay. How to answer this question? This should be based on the research you have done on the organization. ده هيكون مبني برضو على research اللي أنت عملته في organization. Of course. You can say it's a very big name. Amazon is a very big name, and I want to be one of the members of of Amazon because it's honor to me. شرف لي أن أكون عضو من أعضاء الاسم الكبير ده. It 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 it. For example, if it offers good salaries, if it if it gives the benefits, so you you have to do some research to answer this question as well. Sincerity is extremely important here. You have to be sincere. Don't lie. Don't don't make up. any reasons ما تقعدش تقلب في اسباب وتكذب خليك صادق what have you done to improve your knowledge in the last year عملت ايه السنه اللي فاتت عشان تحسن معرفتك او معلوماتك have some positive self improvement activities handy to mention handy يعني ready خلي بعض الاكتيفيتيز اللي تكون خاصه بيك انت عملتها في شغلك القديم او شغلك اللي انت فيه دلوقتي تكون ready ان انت تقولها وترد عليه what kind of salary are you looking to get ايه نوع المرتب اللي بتحب تاخده Okay, a nasty little game that you will probably lose if you answer first. So do not answer it and instead say something like, that's a tough question. Can you tell me the range for this position? If there is no way out of showing your cards, say that it depends on the details of the job and give a wide range. How is it that this question is nasty, nasty, very bad? So the question is not going to answer this question. You don't have to answer this question. You can answer by asking questions. Like, for example, you can uh, can you tell me the range for this position, and I can choose. You can say that's a tough. Question. It's a very difficult question. I can't answer it. It's a difficult one. Okay. If there is no way to, of showing your cards, لو ما فيش بقى مفر إنك تبين ورا أكزام. Very local. It's very close to our Arabic expression. يبين ورا أو. You can say it depends on the details. give a wide range you can say in the biatamid ala tafasil wazifa la amila wa tiji wide range from so to so from 2000 to 5000 or 4000 question 8 are you a player yani enta can you work with a team tadar chitar fi fariq do you like team work of course of course you have to to be a team player to to succeed in this interview be sure to have examples ready to give evidence of your team attitude عندك في ذهنك فورس ات نيدز ا لوت اوف ريسيرش كونسيرنينج ذا اورجنايزيشن يو ار بينج انترفيو ذن ات نيدز ا لوت اوف ورك تو جيت 
some ready examples of your activities, your achievements in gazetak or anshitatak, and to show how you are a good team worker. Is that you can work in a good Give good examples. Number nine, have you ever had to fire anyone? Have you ever had to fire anyone? Have you ever had to fire To fire someone, to kick him out. Kick him out, you throw them in the back. Like fire someone, to dismiss. Fire means dismiss. Fire is the same as dismiss. You're fit. Did you have to dismiss someone? Halk to read for you and act fit hat. Okay. How did you feel about that? Can show you this is some human aspect of your character. يعني ناحية إنسانية في شخصيتك. You will do it when it's the right thing to do. You 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 will answer in this way. I will have to do that when it's the right thing to do. لازم أعمل كذا ما يكون ده صح. If this person who whom I fired or whom I dismissed was preventing achievements in our position or in our organization. There can be in our تقدم في 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 مجالنا أو في مؤسسة. Be sure um, you will protect the organization when the individual has created a harmful situation. لازم تقوم بدورك وتحمي ال organization لما شخص واحد يعمل harmful زي بيش. Tell me about your ability to work under pressure. This is very, very, very important. This is a very important question, and it's a question which is frequently asked in interviews. Can you work under pressure? Because this is very important. They need staff who can staff members who can work under pressure. So you have to say yes. Thrive, thrive means succeed. Under certain type of pressures, give examples. You have to say yes. I can work and succeed under pressure, and you have to have a mind. Ready examples to mention to show that you can work under pressure. Eleven. Explain how you would be an asset. Asset معناها saving. يعني تكون أنت شيء precious شيء سمين يدخلوا للشركة. يعني بالقسم between two parts the explanation the شرح a useful tool a damn مفيدة to this organization. لو هو بيسألك بيقول لك إيش رح أنت ممكن إزاي تكون useful أو helpful تب حاجة قيمة حاجة valuable حاجة precious. أسد أسد أصلاً الأسد كلمة أسد معناها السندات اللي بيمتلكها الشخص لو عندك بيوت عندك فلوس في البنك دي اسمها أسد your أسد your precious savings مدخراتك how can you be أو how would you be an asset okay an asset an asset يعني a precious tool a valuable tool a helpful tool a useful tool to our organization ترد تقول له إيه highlight your best points that relate to the position being discussed um, لازم تبقى تدي points أو examples أنت إزاي في في الorganization اللي مقدم عليها دي تقدر تفيد الorganization. This again depends on your research on Google. Okay, number twelve. Why should we hire you? طب أنت شايف ليه إحنا نشغلك؟ hire طبعا معناه employ. بنشوف كلمة hiring now hiring على المحلات دلوقتي يعني طالبين ناس. Point out how your assets meet what the organization needs. How your work can satisfy the organization's needs. How your work can be helpful, can be useful, can add, can contribute to the organization. Is that show like Munkin you feed we said the organization? Our last page would be a very interesting type of game. We have two parallel boxes. We have to read this and that. Okay? Number one, you are interviewing your partner for a position as a bank teller. Find out why they may not be appropriate for the job. You are you are the interviewer. In the table, shakhs, your partner, partner. As I said, now we are doing a game. We play with each other. Your your classmate, for example, if we are at a class. In the table, I mean, we do an interview with Had for a position as a bank teller. You know, the bank we have two positions: bank teller, who we have for reception, and bank banker, the banker who we have in the office. In the office, they call him banker. At, at the very beginning of your appointment, you have to spend some time as a teller. It depends uh, on your achievements. If you succeed as a teller, then you will be promoted to be a banker. Has it a teller to of a shebek? يعني تقول معلومات the banker to of مكتب. Find out. يعني اكتشف why they may not be appropriate for the job. ممكن لما يكونش الشخص ده مناسب للجاب. فهو بيجي كريزن في البوكس اللي قدامه. You are interviewing to be a bank teller. However, five years ago, you were arrested and convicted for being uh, in a mafia. Your speci speciality was money laundering. <laughs> يعني انت now you are being interviewed for a position as a bank teller. انت مقدم لوظيفة وقاعد في الانترفيو عشان تبقى bank teller. لكن من خمس سنين, five years ago, you were arrested, اتقبض عليك and convicted, وقدنت for being in a mafia. انك في صعبة, في mafia. 
your specialty was money laundering وكانت تهمتك الاولى تخصصك هي غسيل الاموال how can how would you be a bank teller if your character shows that you're not a good character you're not a trustee you cannot trust you this financial institution البنك ده كمؤسسه ماليه cannot trust you so you are rejected you are rejected you cannot you cannot occupy this position you are conv- you have been arrested and convicted for money laundering غسيل الاموال you're a thief list number two you're interviewing your partner for a position that's open for a police officer make sure they are the best candidate for the job انت بتقابل حد لوظيفه بوليس اوفيسر ضابط شرطه ضابط بوليس make sure they are the best candidate candidate يعني مرشح اتاكد ان هو افضل حد مرشح لهذه الوظيفه نشوف البوكس بيقول ايه you are applying to police انت بقى الناحيه الثانيه you're applying to be a police officer you believe you are a wonderful candidate because you know the streets in fact you were a pimp pimp is a very bad word it's some person they are two words pimp is the person who facilitates prostitution prostitution is a bad uh, charge tuhma sayyia jiddan and prevent you from from getting your green card um, prostitution can prevent you from getting your naturalization right benefit and there is a question in n400 form if you remember that in our classes the man or the person who can facilitate the process of prostitution if you are a pimp you are not you are not a good candidate to be a police officer because you are violating the law you are violating the law if you are violating the law by being a pimp or by facilitating this bad act called prostitution you would not be a good candidate as a police officer the police officer should respect the law the police officer should not must not violate the law he, they, they, they should respect the law لازم يحترموا القانون you know all the local drug dealers and prostitutes if you are familiar with all drug dealers تجار المخدرات dealer means the traders تجار and prostitutes the same prostitutes women working in the field of prostitution then you're a bad person you're a bad guy you don't show any good character any good moral character بيسموها GMC في القانون اللي هي good moral character good moral character يعني انت اخلاقيه مش شخصيه مش شخصيتك مش شخصيه اخلاقيه you don't have you don't you don't have a good moral character so then you can be a police officer even if you streets it's not a requirement to know the streets the requirement is your conscience namirak your conscience your good character your gmc good moral character this is the measure this is the requirement to be a good police officer number three you are interviewing your partner for a position as a secretary at a, a local law firm uh, find out if your partner is the best person for the job for a position as a secretary secretary at a local law firm 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 يعني company شركة organization institution شركة uh, شركة محاماة أو شركة قانون محلية find out حاول تكتشف if your partner is the best person for the job لو ال partner هو أفضل حد مين ال partner بقى the law is righteous and so is saving the world every day by saving water you try to you only paid once a week this offends some people but you are hoping that this law firm will hire you as a secretary anyway will you be hired just because you are saving the environment okay the law is righteous القانون righteous يعني one way دغري direct righteous مستقيم and so is saving the world every day by saving world وبيحمي القانون بيحاول يحمي الدنيا كل يوم من انه بيحمي الميه. You try to live as green as possible بتحاول تعيش as green يعني على طبيعتك as natural as green means as natural as possible بتعيش بالطبيعه which means you only paid once a week بتستحمى مره واحده في الاسبوع. This offends some people ده ممكن يكون ضد ناس بعض الناس but you're hoping that this law firm will hire you as a secretary anyway لكن انت بتتمنى ان الشركه دي تاخدك because you are saving the environment. And the law is saving the environment. No, this is not the requirement for the job. 
that requirement is not to to take a shower once or twice or three times because it's okay it's it's a personal freedom but you have to be a good secretary you have to be good at public relations you have to to know how to contact people and deal with them four you're interviewing your partner for a position as a receptionist at a reception make sure that this is good match shtagal for reception for hotel whatever you are a devout member of a zombie cult cult means cult di taifa dini it's not taifa the cult it's a religious sect sect yani taifa s e c t so you are a devout member in ta'adu mukarras aw mukhlis of a zombie cult zombie cult di jama' diniya طبعا الطقوس طقوس خاصه بطقوس وثنيه يعني بيعبدوا اصنام وتماثيل ويعملوا حركات وحاجات من دي. يو بيليف ذا زومبي ابوكليبس ابوكليبس معناها يعني حاجه زي الحجامه عارفين انتوا الحجامه اللي هي العلاج بال بطريقه معينه بالضغط على اماكن في الجسم والحاجات حاجات ممارسات هنديه وصينيه وبتاع. ويل اوكر اون وينزداي اندر فور اندر فور cannot work on Wednesdays. However, you are willing to come in an hour earlier and stay a little later to complete the hours. You are apl applying for a receptionist position. To be a receptionist, it's not a requirement to be uh, one of the devoted members of a religious sex like zombie. Um, and even if you will be late on Wednesdays, okay, you will not come early, uh, early but you will you you can extend your hours in other days to complete your hours it's not a requirement the main requirement for any job is to be a good match is that your your character is a good match it's not your time or your hours or whatever you are interviewing your partner for a position as a waiter or waitress waiter garçon who is male waiter is garçon اللي هي الفيميل a formal restaurant في مطعم formal كده رسمي that often serves the rich and famous. They may be at them the actual the nice and famous the mashahir will agnia. Make sure that your partner is appropriate for the job. Attacked and your partner the inta btamilu the muabla appropriate and suitable. يعني good match. يعني good candidate for the job. يعني هو مناسب للjob. Okay. Now you aspire. You hope. Aspire يعني تتمنى. عندك طموح. You have an ambition. You aspire to become a famous comedian. I used to be a comedy mashur, but you have not had your lucky break yet. Listen, ma, khatish for setak. Your lucky break means your chance, your opportunity. Listen, ma, get lucky for us. You're hoping that by waiting at this fancy restaurant, bitaq man in nita lam at wait to to serve, to to offer to. You'll be able to perform for all of the stars that come in. Mungkin temasil perform act with them. كل المشاهير الممثلين اللي بيجوا المطعم ده. Then surely you'll be discovered. Of course, this is not the main requirement to be a famous job. You have to be good in relationship, good comedian. Now we're just next. Okay, it's again something. Something interesting, something fun, funny concerning our country, the United States of America. Number one, how many states are there in the USA? And this is uh, okay. Hey, what's the capital for the USA? Lahasima. Number three, what's the biggest state in the USA? A Akbar Wilayah, USA. Number four, what's the nickname of the American flag? The American flag has a nickname, it's Midala. What's that? Number five, what's the American national anthem? Anthem is like a shahar or a qasam. It's like a logo. Anthem means anthem, means logo, means emblem. All these words have the same meaning as shahar. So it's shahar, the people of America. Number six. Who's the current American Vice President? Vice President Naib al-Rais. Mean Naib al-Rais Halim. Right in the United Seven. What's the biggest city in the USA? Big state? No. Big state. The question number three. Now, biggest city. Akbar Medina. It's not required to be in the big state, but it's the biggest city, the most crowded one, the one with the skyscrapers. I I give you the answer. Number eight. How many people are there in the United States? You'll be astonished at the number. Of course, this number. Uh, um, 
the number you can Google uh, has to be the number for 2020 census. That that 2020. For 2020, it's a very big number, a huge number. Nine. What's the smallest state in the United States? Big state, smallest state. Number ten. Who was the first American president? The spiritual father, and we have a day for him after his name. Eleven. Name five American states. Any five American states. Your own state and other states. Number 12, which state is also known as the sunshine state because the sun is always shining there. It's too hot there. Number 13, where is the Statue of Liberty located? Which state and which city? It was a gift from France, if you remember. 14, who gave the Statue of Liberty to the USA? This is the answer I give to you. Who gave us this gift, this present? Which country? 15, which bird is also the national symbol of the USA? If you remember, in our last assignment, it was the endangered bird, the bird at risk. It's our national anthem, our national emblem, or logo, شعرنا أنه طائر. 16, name five American wild animals, any five American wild animals related to USA. 17, what are the three most popular sports in USA? There are three most popular sports, indeed. What are they? 18, how many different US dollar pills are there? How many different dollar pills? We have bills for one dollar, two dollar, how many? Okay. Nineteen. Name five well known American brands. Brands for cards, for technological sets, for drinks, whatever. Twenty, name five famous Americans that aren't alive anymore. Any five famous American figures that have deceased. They are not alive anymore. Mish Haishin. Thank you so much for so much for following us. Um, I'm very happy to see you. Uh, meet you every week and see you next week. Bye-bye